What's happening, people? And once again, welcome back to youtube.com forward slash Cubcam TV for this, another edition of Cub Reacts, as we continue to explore the latest new musical flavor, and we are back inside the building for another Scorcher, we hope. This one coming to us from a Ghanaian rapper that I've got a lot of time for, and that is, of course, your tog. This one going by the name Asoden. Um, again, there's a there's um, a, a closed bracket in the middle of the name. I don't know what that represents. If someone does know what that represents, let me know in the uh, comment section down below and whether I'm pronouncing the name right. But it looks like it's going to be a good one. It's getting good reviews already. Uh, your Tog was one of the first Ghanaian rappers I actually saw kind of penetrating into the UK market. So I'm excited to see how this one sounds. As always, friends, if you are new to the channel, do make sure you're getting involved by hitting that subscribe button on the right hand side of the page. Of course, turning notifications on as well, leaving a like, leaving a comment and all of that good stuff. And without further ado, let's jump right into the sounds of this one. Let's go. Straight into that drill tempo. Let's go. Yeah. Where my G's, yeah. It's been there. It's been there. So the instrumental already, it's got this kind of like moogie, almost like medieval sort of style of, uh, of horn going on. That sort of down, 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 down. That little melody there, it's literally like straight out of, uh, I don't know, out of like an 80s medieval film. Really, really cool to kind of hear that added in. Really kind of gritty sounding instrumentation so far. Very kind of dark melodies as well. Uh, definitely all in a minor scale. This is sounding cool, man. I'm excited to see what Tog does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 I love his voice, man. This is sounding sick! There's something so cool about this. The use of percussion being so strong in the overall mix down gives it this really unique feel. And then on top of that as well, you've got this kind of bounce going on with a lot of the kind of vocal uh, maneuvers. This sort of... Like there's almost like a semi call and respond going on within his own vocal line. It's very, very, um, very, very kind of fluid the way that he's moving around on top of this instrumental. Something I don't tend to like about drill uh, tunes in the UK specifically a lot of the time is the lack of kind of rhythmic understanding. Whereas this, you can hear that rhythm is so kind of uh, tightly nailed into the way the tune's maneuvering. This is sounding great so far. Really powerful bass line going on down below. That's doing a lot of the kind of general maneuvering. That's doing that's what's keeping the tune alive movement wise. But again, really potent use of percussion in this one. You can hear the percussion is actually processed really, really loudly in the mix, and it gives it this much more unique feel. It allows little pockets to develop, and also on top of that, it allows your tog like a different direction to go in rhythmically. You still got those string lines going on in the background as well that are giving it that kind of ominous overall feel um, and just adding to that kind of eerie harmony that we heard right from the beginning. This is really cool, man. Tog's going off as well. You can hear the energy within his vocal maneuvers. This sounds sick. No capping, but it's not good at falling. More frosting, no talking. Hey, get it, call me falling. Motabaya, quiet, sign the bar. That's what they call me, Tay and Cow. Bam, I don't want Tay and Cow. Yeah, 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 I want Tay and Cow, I want Tay and Cow. Spin up. I love this hook as well. I love the dip that's being used on this. That like you literally you're jumping back three times then you're leaning back once it's that idea of keeping you on your toes um it's a really well kind of uh, it's really well arranged as a drill tune like there's enough going on in the verses to kind of draw you in but the hook as well has a super catchy nature about it the instrumental itself is providing a lot of different directions whether it be those strings whether it be the bass instrumentation whether it be the kind of percussive flicks that we're hearing left and right it's really cool to see your talk back on top four man this is definitely him in his bag with that shadow of a day Something else I've noticed as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Up on the side. I was about to say what I'm noticing a lot about this tune is his transitions are great. Like his movement between sections, between A, B, C, back to B, back to C. Like his maneuvers between transitions are super, super smooth. And then he cuts from like a very kind of much more intricate rap eight bar into this sort of very harmonized sing-along vocal that just kind of takes the, the epic level through the roof. Really cool, man. This is a really impressive um, appearance from your Tog. Again, he hasn't been super, super active in the last year. Um, but then when he arrives and delivers something like this, you're sort of like, why haven't you been active, man? You're going to kill it in today's market a little bass down bass line down below Again, smooth transitions, man. Like that's that's kind of like the leading theme of this. He's gone through maybe five or six different, um, different kind of um, different. What's the word? Diff I've completely forgotten. Five or six different sequences, like five or six different sections. I forgot what the word sections meant for a second there. Jesus Christ, my mind is clearly blown by the tune. Um, but he's gone through five or six different sections, and each and every time he's been able to transition from one to the other without it feeling clunky. I cannot stress how big a deal that is, especially in drill, because drill itself has a nature of the vocals being clunky and the instrumentals being quite smooth. On this side of things, your tog is just as smooth as the instrumental, which is great to see because it makes it so much more enjoyable to listen to for me. <laughs> Give me some really good TikToks off this bit. It's got a real kind of viral feel to it. Just even adding this bit in towards the end as a bit of an outro, just adding those kind of epic, they almost sound like kind of horn-driven keys. That's what those little sounds there, that sort of din, 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 that little melody there. Really kind of cool to add in towards the end because it does give us a little bit more kind of, again, it gives us a bit of an outro that is original. It's not just like the, the instrumental looping. That would have been a little bit kind of half half, half kind of half ass lackluster. But this is a really cool way of kind of rounding it off, man. Your Tog killing it. Let's go. Regal strings towards the end. Great way to round this one off then. The sounds of your tro uh, your tog, sorry, with uh, Asad Den. Again, I don't know what the bracket in the middle means, so do let me know in the comment section down below if that's something I'm missing. Um, I'm always keen to hear from you guys about things like that, so do let me know. Now, this is a cool tune. Instrumental-wise, fantastic. A lot of power, a lot of potency, and overall, there's a really good sense of energy running throughout the center of the tune. Love the kind of instrumental additions of the strings, those kind of almost muted, kind of medieval-sounding horns in the beginning, and again, the bass line is very potent down below. Love how powerful the percussion uh, processing is on this as well but the main feature for me is your dog his ability to move between very heavily rap style vocals uh, very intricate rap vocals to the kind of sing-along style hook to then the very kind of harmonized block uh, in that bridge section in the middle we saw everything that you need to have as a modern rapper from your dog on this tune and that's why I really liked it so there we go as always friends let me know your thoughts on the tune in the comment section down below we do read every single comment that comes onto the page and of course if you're new to the channel do make sure you're getting involved by hitting that subscribe button on the right hand side of the page turning notifications on as well leaving a like leaving a comment and all of that good stuff and we shall see you all next time peace This is Aaron Glitch and you're tuning to the sound of Kovu right now. You already know the thing. Bad boy selector. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go.